Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Lions franchise. Today we're gonna play the Titans, and at five and eight we hope to improve to six and eight. The Packers are now at seven and six, so two games behind. We still can pull this off, but we have to win, and the Packers may have to lose out in order to do that. I want to talk about our linebacker situation. Jamie Collins is back this week. He is going to lose his starting spot to Terrell Suggs because Suggs has been a lot more productive. But Jamie Collins is going to be playing in the sub linebacker role. So in nickel packages, he's going to combine with Tavai at middle linebacker. We'll see how that's going to go. Also, Jeff Okuda and Justin Coleman are now starting corners. Desmond Tupan comes in the nickel packages, but Coleman is still going to be the nickel corner. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. It's kickoff time and Jamal Agnew takes a knee in the end zone. The Lions offense is going to come out at their own 25-yard line. Marvin Hall in motion. Handoff goes to DeAndre Swift. He goes downfield, gain of a handful. Third down and two. Stafford passes it to TJ Hawkinson. He had a lot of green grass and that's a gain of 19 yards on the crosser. First down and 10. DeAndre Swift in motion. The swing pass goes out to him. And he has a lot of green grass. There is a new first down and a pickup of 13 yards. He gets the handoff this time. And Rashawn Evans makes the tackle before any more damage could be done. But Karrion Johnson gets upfield in a hurry. It's a gain of 13 yards. Second down and 10. RPO. JJ Ortega wide side on the slant down inside the 5 yard line. First and goal. And it's a touchdown for the Lions offense. JJ Arthega Whiteside on the slant. Nice play to hold on in tight coverage. Lions go up by seven. And I expect the Titans to run it a lot. They can run this Lions linebacking core over. They have Derrick Henry in their backfield. But they pass it on first down and it is knocked down. Great play by the D-line. Second down and 10. Tannehill moves back and he is eventually dropped. It's Trey Flowers on the sack. Third and 21 upcoming. Now Tannehill just gets a, the screen pass off. But Julian Aquara is right there to make the stop. And that is... a gain of zero yards and Brett Kern punts the football away. Jamal Agnew awaits it and he takes it out, spins out a defender, breaks an arm tackle and falls forward and that is a really great return. Already in field goal range, Karrion Johnson gets upfield. Nice tackle there by the D-line man. DeAndre Swift and TJ Hackinson should have had that block and that would have been a new first down. Third down and seven, and the ball gets knocked away from DeAndre Swift. So Matt Prater is up for a 50-yarder. And that kick is right down the middle. 10-0 Lions. 
Now the Titans have to run this or else they are gonna be done for this game. And yeah, Derrick Henry gets four yards. And there he breaks a tackle, breaks another one and gets down after an 11 yard pickup. Second down and 10 now. Tannehill looking to pass and over the middle it's Corey Davis with a nice grab in tight coverage 16 yard reception. He gets a man in motion the handoff goes to Derrick Henry there's a lot of green grass Duran Harmon takes a bad angle and Derrick Henry is down the sideline breaking tackles and down at the 10 yard line finally. Derrick Henry up the middle there is not a whole lot of room there second down and goal and on the crosser it's Corey Davis for a Titan touchdown cap this drive off with a nice passing touchdown really put together a nice drive there and they got Derrick Henry going they have to do that a lot more if they want to keep this game close Nice pass. Corey Davis was open and Gerard Davis, that was a mismatch. Second down and nine now for the Lions offense and Carrion Johnson has a lane up the middle. That is a pickup of 13 yards. First down and 10. Carrion Johnson and he is down immediately. Bad rep for both tackles. Tyrell Crosby and Taylor Decker. Really bad rep. Kenny Galladay on the RPO has a gain of 12 yards. Third and inches, carry on Johnson up the middle for a gain of 5 yards. First down and 10 now, DeAndre Swift and to the outside there is no room there. Jayon Brown with a really nice rep. Second and 12, Ortega Whiteside across the formation. He gets the swing pass and to the outside he has a gain of about 10 yards. So it is third down and 3 and on the crosser. It's Ortega Whiteside and he has a new first down and a gain of 5 yards. Stafford starts out 7 of 8 passing and this pass is intercepted! It's Kevin Byard. Stafford was half a second late on that pass and Kevin Byard reads it and picks it off. Stafford should have put that like in between the hashes, not left of the hashes. He should have done a bullet pass and Kevin Byard was there to pick it off. Would have been a nice play for Marvin Hall. He was open on the post. On first down, Henry gets four yards. On second down, he gets even more. It's five yards this time. And third down and one, he gets another handoff. There is a huge lane up the middle. And Derrick Henry has a gain of 10 yards. First and 10, Tannehill looks to pass. Great adjustment by Adam Humphreys. First down at midfield. Corey Davis in motion. Derrick Henry gets the handoff and he runs over a defender. And it is down after an 8 yard pickup. Third down and 2. Derrick Henry to the outside but they stopped him short. At the 41 yard line. Great play by Justin Coleman. So they have to punt it. And Karrion Johnson doesn't get anywhere on first down. Actually, he stands up again, but there is nowhere to go. Gain of a couple yards. Third down and eight, and that brings up the two-minute warning already. 10-7 Lions, Stafford quick pass, and he is off the mark for TJ Hawkinson. Bad rep, they have to punt it away. And Tannehill over the middle. Nice pass. They go hurry up, Tannehill looks to pass, and to the outside, it's Corey Davis, but he could not hang on. Stops the clock, at least. 1 minute 27 left for Tannehill. He gets the ball away, but on the outside, Desmond Trufant breaks it up. Third down, upcoming. Now, Gerard Davis got hurt on the last play, and he's going to be out for the game, at least. And that pass goes to Janu Smith in the flats and is incomplete. They were not on the same page. Lions start the drive off with a handoff to Karrion Johnson, which gets about four yards on third down and six. Over the middle, wide open is TJ Hawkinson. And he has a new first down and a gain of about 20 yards. Timeout, Lions. And that is play action. Stafford puts it down the middle and Arthega Whiteside makes a one-handed grab. What a great play by Arthega Whiteside. He runs this crosser posts 
And just makes a one-hander in triple coverage, basically. Nice play. Puts them inside field goal range. And the time runs out. They could not get the pass off in time. So that moves the Lions offense five yards back. First down and 15 at the 36. Stafford launches one downfield. And it is picked off by Jonathan Joseph. He had the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Ortega Whiteside and Ortega Whiteside could not outmuscle Jonathan Joseph. Nice play by the DB. 16 seconds on the clock and Tennessee has the ball back with three timeouts. Let's see what they do. It was just a one-on-one -on -one matchup and Ortega Whiteside could not knock the ball away. Derrick Henry runs the football. It's a gain of four yards and they let this clock run out and go into halftime with a three-point deficit. It has been a close game and the Titans have more rushing outputs but they need to have a lot more rushing yards. Derrick Henry can run all of this defense over. On first down he only gets a yard. Blocking was not that great but on second down they pass it again and Tannehill Throws it to the outside at the numbers is Corey Davis and he makes a fantastic grab for 8 yards. Derrick Henry to the outside, he breaks an arm tackle and Desmond Trufant can finally bring him down but not after Derrick Henry picks up a new first down. And on the outside it's Janu Smith, the tight end and he has not much gain of a couple yards. Second down and 7, Tannehill over the middle, quick pass. It's Janu Smith with a new first down at 9 yards. First down and 10 over the middle. It's Janu Smith again. 5 yard reception there. Tannehill throws it and this is Corey Davis. He has a gain of 4 yards which brings up 3rd and short. Derrick Henry time. And he has a huge lane up the field but there is a flag down. Man that sucks. He had a gain of 15 yards. But this is coming back. A.J. Brown made an illegal block in the back late in the play. So it still is a first down though. And on first down it is Janu Smith again. He loves to put the ball in Janu Smith's hands. And that is a keeper to Ryan Tannehill. He gets inside the 10 and goes down at the 6 yard line. First and goal for Tennessee. And he puts it to the outside and flag down. Deron Harmon is called for a late hit out of bounds. Bad play by the DB. He was getting out of bounds anyway at the one yard line. So Derrick Henry runs it up the gut on first and goal. And that is a Titans touchdown. Great blocking on that play. Derrick Henry did not have to do anything but run it up the middle. That means the Titans get out in front. It's a 14-10 game and the Lions offense gets back on the field on second down and nine. DeAndre Swift gets to the outside. He is down the sidelines. He tries to outrun Rashawn Evans and he's not gonna be caught. That brings him up to over 500 yards that season. Nice blocking on the play by both Taylor Decker and TJ Hawkinson. Seventeen fourteen. Lions answer in a hurry and Derrick Henry on first down doesn't get much. It's a gain of a couple of yards. Still he is over 90 yards on the day. And that is tight end Janu Smith again. He is getting the ball a lot. Tenhill 13 for 18 but not over 100 yards. Actually now he is. Second down and 10 now. It's Janu Smith on the outside and that is a 14 yard pickup. Motion now and Derrick Henry up the gut but Danny Shelton doesn't have any of it and brings him down for a one yard gain. Second down and nine. Tannehill moves around, gets to the outside and finally goes down. It's Terrell Suggs. That guy has been clutch these past games. He was a big success story and Tannehill goes down again. It's Deshaun Hand. He has been disappointing this season. 
but there he gets it. And Karrion Johnson gets to the outside. He has a new first down, gain of 12 yards. Karrion Johnson on first down, has a huge lane up the middle. It's a gain of 15 yards. And that is DeAndre Swift to the outside. Bad rap for Tyrell Crosby. Second down and 14. It's a tackle for a loss, four yard loss. And this is the quarter end. So fourth quarter, upcoming second down and 14. Delayed handoff to Kerryon Johnson and he doesn't get very far. It's a gain of a couple of yards. Third down and 11. And Arthega Whiteside is wide open over the middle. And he has a new first down and a gain of 24 yards. Nice play by the wide receiver. First down and 10 inside field goal range and Karrion Johnson breaks a couple of arm tackles. Second down and six. And that is Johnson again. He has a gain of a couple of yards. Third down and three. Stafford deep drop back and Arthega Whiteside on the drag. He has a new first down. It's a gain of about five yards. On first down and 10, they go with the misdirection and Karrion Johnson gets downfield in a hurry. 10 yard pickup, second down and inches. Karrion Johnson to the outside has a new first down. Kenny Vaccaro stops him shy of the goal line. But on second down and goal, it's Karrion Johnson into the end zone for a Lions touchdown. That was great blocking by the O-line and Detroit goes up two scores. They extend this lead to a 10 point game. The Titans have to run the football more if they want to be competitive in this game. On first down and 10, Tannehill looks to throw again and he goes down eventually. Time runs out. It's Jelani Tavai and Trey Flowers on the sack. Nice play by the middle linebacker on the blitz. Second down and 23. And this is knocked away as Jamie Collins. He should have picked that off. Third down and 23. Tannehill looks downfield and AJ Brown is held. Clear pass interference call on Desmond Trufant. Man, this guy has been a disappointment all season. First down and 10 for the Titans. And it's Janu Smith on the reception, gain of eight yards. Now they finally run it again. Derrick Henry gets the first down, four yard pickup. Quick throw to the outside, it's AJ Brown. He has been shut down all game, but now he is there on the reception. First down and 10, and over the middle, it's Justin Coleman on the interception. Adam Humphreys was the man he was targeting, but Justin Coleman undercuts the route and takes it away. And DeAndre Swift is hyped at the sidelines. They get back on the field. Lions offense with a couple yards on first down. Delayed handoff to DeAndre Swift. And he falls forward through the tackle for a gain of seven yards. Karrion Johnson on third down and one. Did he get it? Yes, he got it. That is the two minute warning. The Titans should have run the football more now it is too late because now Karrion Johnson can run the football he tried to juke out the defender but is taken down nice play by Jonathan Joseph second down and six and they throw it actually over the middle it's DeAndre Swift on the angle route middle was vacated first down and 10 inside field goal range and they hand it off to Karrion Johnson and he has no gain at all second down and nine Pull back into the game. It's Karrion Johnson up the guts and he has a gain of 14 yards and that puts him over 100 yards on the day. Nice game by Karrion Johnson and that is DeAndre Swift to the outside. He tries to juke out a defender but there is no room there. Gain of one yard. Karrion Johnson up the gut again and he has a gain of eight yards. Third down and one now. 10 seconds left, they just want to win this game. TJ Hawkinson breaks a tackle, falls forward and actually has the touchdown. And that is the game. The Lions could have knelt it out at the end, but they chose to go for it and look which guys are making plays and TJ Hawkinson makes a nice touchdown reception. Breaks a couple tackles. Your final is 
31-14 and the Titans did not have a shot because they should have run it all day long and they did not. And that was the exact problem. Now Jamie Collins had another game where he just he disappeared from the first snap on. He was mentioned once because he dropped the interception. It was picture perfectly thrown to him and he just dropped it. The Lions put 207 rushing yards on the board in this game. That is really terrible by the Titans defense. You should not allow that. The 207 yards should have been put on the board by Derrick Henry though and they did not and that was their problem. So the Detroit Lions improved to 6 and 8 and the Packers won so they are 8 and 6 that division race might be over. Kerryon Johnson 118, DeAndre Swift 89 yards, great averages too. I think a wide side 8 receptions for 89 yards in the score. Swift had 25 yards in the air. TJ Hawkinson had the score at the end. Rashawn Evans was all over the place, but it did not help them a lot. They had a bunch of tackles for loss because our tackles gave them up. Trey Flowers with one and a half sacks. Deshaun Hand and Terrell Suggs also with a sack. And Justin Coleman had a really nice pick where he undercut the route. Justin Coleman is playing up to his potential right now. And we have an injury on the game. It's Gerard Davis and he's going to be out for the season. He has a foot fracture, which is going to take six weeks and we're not going to go to the playoffs most likely. So I'm going to put him on injured reserve and sign Ty Summers, the middle linebacker from the practice squad. He has a lot of speed, really good athleticism. That's why he is on our practice squad and now on the roster. Now, as I was saying, Jamie Collins did not step up. He is the veteran. He is the leader. He should have had a bunch of tackles in this game with Derrick Henry in the backfield, but he disappeared from the first snap till the end. He had the one dropped pick. It was thrown right to him. He should have had the pick. So I'm going to put him back into the lineup. Will Harris is going to be the sub linebacker again. He at least made some plays. He is sometimes a liability in run stopping, but sometimes he makes the plays that Jamie Collins doesn't. And I worry more about production than ratings at this point. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more Aligned Franchise. See you in the next episode. Until then, spread some love.